guys, here we are back at the warehouse. We've got all the stuff unloaded. Unfortunately, it looks like it's not a $4,100 buy, but we don't know. It takes one box to save us. We're gonna take you back to the where, to the auction right now to show you what, why we bought it and what was going on. Here we go. Okay, guys, here we go. This is the guy that is the magician. Yep, we got two of this. The guy that is All right, guys, here we go. Oh, wait, I'm guy, in case other people so, know, I don't want him to hear. Here we go. Here's our alleged uh, our bass player. So we're gonna tell. We're gonna. Uh, there could be anything in here, guys. Right here. Give me a thousand to start this vault. Thousand, thousand. It's gonna get there. Thousand is bid. Eleven hundred. I got a thousand bid. Eleven. It's already bid. You want in for eleven? Yeah. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. Fifteen. Sixteen. Seventeen. Seventeen hundred to you. 18, 19, hold on, I'm gonna get there, 2,000, 25, 2,000 for 25, 25, 22 and a half, you have to be 25. I did for the last three times. 22 and a half, 25, 25, 27, 50, 3,000, 3,000, 3,000, 3,000. When you say no, my ass hurts. 2750. I'm already 2750. What's your numbers? I'm not sorry, your numbers. Yes, sir. Oh, nice, sir. 99. 99 got it for $2,750. $2,750. Thanks, Dusty. And here's the little. Hey, hold on, hold on. We still got one unit left. I'd like to bid uh, 2750 on that one. No, I want that Renee, one. that's two times the money, right? Yeah, right. No? <laughs> that's just underwear. Okay, so let's sell this one. 100. 200, 300, 300, 400, 500, 500, 6. Come on, grease them up. 600, 600, 600. 5 has been 6. 5 and 6. That's where the Emmys are going to be. 600, 700, 800, 900, 1,000. 9 has been 1,000, but 1,000. I didn't even have to finish the job. You're 9, you're there, but 1,000. 99 for 900. 99 got it for 900. All right. Okay, so we're just gonna start opening up some boxes. The best box that I think has the best potential is actually back here. So one of these units we paid $27.50 for, the other one $900. Plus we paid bias premium. And all I have to say is I think somebody did some taxing at the auction. Two oh, different dusty. players. Yeah. It's okay. But remember, what goes around comes around. So the reason I think this is gonna be basura, which is Spanish for garbage, it's oh, we just came back from Uruguay. He's still using his Spanish. I love it. Yeah, I know how to say it in German. Scheiße. <laughs> Don't curse. Also, these are actually so this fris frisbee model. You got to look some of the vintage ones. But the reason I think it's going to be bad is because there's some really dirty dishes. And in general, when people have dirty dishes, it's not good. Is that a good brand? This Club speaker? 60. It's, it's an SR technology. So a little bass amplifier. SR technology Club 60. 60 watts arm as something in the you can use in the house i don't know like max like a hundred bucks okay so dirty pillows you know just value. put it over there right away dirty rags no value so this stuff been put in in storage and um it's been put in storage in 2018 he passed away oh he passed away in 2021 oh let's see we have shipping boxes with his name on it too all right, you look for it, I'll open the next box. Here we go. Oh yeah, here we go. Mr. Dion Estes. Let's see what's in here. So really, we really have to pay attention to paperwork in this. You know, we want to find the box of letters where he maybe wrote with George Michael some songs. He yeah, was, that'd be great. He also played with T uh, uh, Tina Turner. He played with Elton John, yeah, Marvin Gaye. Yeah, he played Gaye. with some real big headliners. Pillows, pillows. Hello. Well, he was part of Wham! forever. Just... So Wham! was a hit 80s group, in case you didn't know it. Like People know it, George Mr. Michael. Oh, okay. yeah. Just... Okay. Oh, my God. This is like the heaviest pillow ever. Oh, uh, here we go. Okay. George Michael. Unique. Is I'm assuming that's... Oh, it is. To Dion Estes. I love music. La Passive, thank you with all the years with Wham and George. But that's signed by this person, Fanny Walters, unfortunately, which I have no idea. I have no idea who that is, but that's something. 
and that's did from. You show, did, did you get it close enough? Yep. Okay, good. And it also has uh, Fanny Walters was born, so. So these are just like like her rundown. So it's a book that she sent to him. Anything else is here? A D stamped. No big deal. For Nothing. Dan. And a D. So right. far, I think this Georgina is gonna get a letter D. Hmm. A well, double D. We'll see, guys. We'll try Did to get my energy. I just say that. <laughs> people always get mad at us, and you know. So that's also a really good lesson for all the people out there that always tell us, "Hey, Renee, you should donate this. You should just give it back. You make enough profit." Because for, you know, we are here. So this might be jewelry. I like that. Sounds like music to my ears. Jewelry. Actually, in second thought, I don't think it is. It's newspaper. Even All the clothes it... smell and stuff, so. Yeah, even if it was jewelry, I wouldn't be able to keep it because you got to make some profit someplace. Earbuds, but they're not there. Paper. Why is this thing so heavy? Okay. Receipts. Everything also smells like it wasn't sound exchange. So this is old letters, mail. I'm gonna go through that later. If anything pops out of it, I'll show it in the video. What is this? It's sexual poor home. Michael Germain. Looks like it's a cologne. Okay, Let's see. so is it smelling again? Let's see. Is okay, so here smell sexual? Somebody. These are all brand new. So one of the th this artist, Dion, liked to wear, he wore those head scarves because he had really long hair. Oh, okay. And all these are BCBG scarves. Oh, BCBG? Oh, we can sell that online. Yeah, so how much is a BCBG well, scarf? Well, you have a brand new price tag of $48, so okay, maybe so we'll 20 like bucks. Lot. We'll probably do a lot of these. So let's say a lot of all these together for 100 bucks. 3900 to go. Okay, here's one DVD. Entourage. DVD player. Um, songs. Oh, that's good. Okay, that's what we look at. Okay, for. wait, maybe you go through the paperwork. <laughs> yeah, the paperwork, I'll check everything. So, G Powell, thank God for all. 101 South, exit Lancashire. Hold back, feels like a life. How long has it been we were put here together as one soul and twins? D D G G D D G G times four. Must be understanding. So this is a song book, so that's actually pretty cool. Now I don't know, uh, that's just a track list. I don't know if, if that's a song book, it's probably just a personal song book, which is not gonna be as big of a deal as if it was wham stuff to be honest, but still kind of cool piece of history. More song books. Song stuff written out. All right, we'll have to look at this separate. We'll look at this later. What are you checking over there? Well, I'm just thinking, I was afraid to put my hand in, but it's just a <laughs> scrubby. <laughs> All right, okay, so you gotta laugh at life because, you know, what are you gonna do when you're given lemons? Make lemonade, right? So this will keep, we'll go to the box. You wanna see what's in here? Sure. Like I said, a lot of this stuff smells. And like, if you see some of the dishes, you'll know why. And that's usually a really bad sign in storage if you look at storage units and there's dirty dishes in there. That is not a good sign. Why? Because would you put away, would you pack up your dirty dishes or would you wash them and put them away clean? There's a Nordstrom's box, nothing in it. I see all these clothes just smell. Yeah, but there's like no cologne. The other one you saw didn't have any cologne. This one has one drop. I wonder if this was like, made, well, no, because he has songbooks. Oh, here we have photos. I'm like, Ooh, why? That? There's nothing. Oh, just a screw. Why would, it's an empty jar, it's trash. Power cable, tools, more pictures by him. Does this uh. one have cologne? Let's see. Huh? So like guitar cable, a little cuckoo-ness. Power cable. Oh, here's a nice little rock. It says dream. Dream that you bought a better storage unit, right? <laughs> Sorry. I, I am trying to have fun with this. This is always good. Christian Dior perfume. 
Yeah, all the colognes are empty. Burberry, Perfumes but it's empty. Perfumes Marley. Do you have them? Mine are all empty. These are like little samples. Oh, those are good. These are side for Tatiana. You can sell this bag today if it's actually a nice bag. What brand? It's a designer brand. I can't, this almost looks like Ferrari logo Paul right here. Paul Smith. Is Paul Smith a good brand, guys? Leave in the comments, do you know, is Paul Smith a good brand? And we're trying to hurry now because we're like way late and we're trying to get done before dark. This looks like Ferrari almost. I mean, Italy, like a little credit card holder. Oh, brand, brand new. new. Oh, it's right here. Perfumes de Marley, that's the same logo. All right, we'll put that aside. <clears throat> uh, well, you know what? At least there's something in this. So the guy, when he died, he supposedly was worth $4 million. Little candle. Pills. Sunglasses. Real 3D junk. There's more junk. Okay, so that's what we want. I see something here potential. So that was one of the things. Joe Cocker. Rolling with Royal Royalty. Oh, Brian yeah. C. Chatton. And it says a partialist of Brian Chatton has worked with over the years. Okay, so some of these shirts can be really good. This is new with tags, so never worn. Yeah, that's what we were looking for is possibly there being um, concert t-shirts. Tour shirts, yeah. And then obviously for stuff here. What's this? Congratulations. Oh, cool. What is it? To Mr. and Mrs. Huh? I don't know. I'm going to put it aside just because he knew a lot of celebrities. Let's make sure this wasn't like a private wedding shirt. More clothes. Blankets. This is trash. This is trash. What's this? Rocking against the. Rock against trafficking. Okay. You want to look at those pictures, if it's pictures of him? Blue steel, Dan Markley. Oh, this is actually really good. It's guitar um, or bass. Bass strings, yeah. They're bass strings. How much do you think these go for? Uh, 10 or 20 bucks a piece? No, it's the whole set. Like maybe five bucks for the whole set. Maybe 10. But okay, it's so. kind of cool that he owned them, but. Yeah. <laughs> like, isn't that what we used to sell them in the store? <laughs> yeah, people buy them all the time. They're inexpensive. Well, why'd you say the whole thing's five bucks? Because you buy them as a set. You don't pay per string. Oh. You did when we had bargain hunters. No, we didn't. No? Oh, okay. I'm trying we had, here. We had some vintage ones. Hot wires, premium quality, base string. So this is not picture speedy. This is all... You know, a lot of this stuff says Rebecca on it. I'm not going to say the last name, but I think either that was his girlfriend or maybe that's a girlfriend he moved out. Old rough mixes. 80s baby. I don't know. A lot of this stuff says Rebecca on it, which sucks because that's probably somebody he dated. You want to take that? Okay. Yeah. So, so far we have a large pile of trash. What do you think now? They're $4,200. So one year, you're not going to get books in college? Okay, so this is what I, like, rummaged through the trash and gathered to be like, okay, there's some value. <laughs> I think we're at $30. By Charles, 1978. At best. I was just talking about going to Harvard. <laughs> you, know you know, those dreams, e. Charles, those too. dreams you had? We probably should check these, make sure this is not like a company, because it's too it. identical. Let's yeah, see. 1978. This is probably something. Yeah. Oh, there's another one. CJ 1978. No, this is just somebody that didn't. I mean, they're old. Let's put them aside. Okay, maybe. Here, yeah, put, put them uh, to the left. Yeah, let's not break them. Okay, you know what? Your left or the camera left? Over there. <laughs> okay.
So we take gambles on these celebrity units, but obviously they can turn out bad. As soon as I picked it up, the way the boxes were and when I looked in the inside, I'm like, ah, this is gonna be, oh man, this stuff smells. Whew. This just like very dirty. Everything is very, smells bad. Everything is just very dirty. Yeah, this is all trash here. This one is trash, baby. This is trash. Okay. <sighs> and you know, you can tell, especially with moving companies, if somebody's stuff, if they say that it's worth $4 million, and then how they pack this stuff, and this just doesn't look like it. Yeah. But you know what the great part about this is that I told Renee, everybody gets to live the journey with us, and sometimes it's a home run, and we do good. Sometimes we... Like make a little bit of money and sometimes we crash and burn. So, but so, we're not done going through all the boxes. So there still could be something of value. So stay tuned. Here so we go. So everybody who wants to live the journey with us, subscribe to the channel right now. We just need about a thousand new paid members. That's four ninety nine a month, and then we can break even on this locker. Yeah, there you go. Just keep this locker in mind when you guys all leave the comments. Oh, you should just donate and you should give it for free. You should do everything for free. Drop your address. We'll come donate it. Yeah. <laughs> you need a new pillow. Got seven of them. There you go. So Old here's some there, trash. sponges and toothbrushes. This is all trash, baby. We're like unlucky with these moving companies lately. I know, and usually moving companies go fetch a high dollar and they usually bring premium units. Yeah. We yeah. just happen to not buy that premium unit. But you know, this unit was really hyped. Oil like oil blend. Hit. Take that pre roll box over there. Look in that one. There's a coffee maker in here, but it's like totally nasty in the bottom. I don't know. When we're at the store, How we get like 20. It's not brand new. Because it's all. So gunky. Well, the plastic. Okay. It's not the plastic, it's the metal here. Mm. I'm trying. Empty. <laughs> So that's the best thing right here when I loaded it. It's a gig bag, but no guitar, unfortunately, no bass. But it is a nice gig bag. It's probably 40 bucks online if it's worth shipping. 40, 50 bucks to store. So that's the best thing so far. <sighs> okay, let's put this table. Okay, let's do this one. Uh, detergent. You know, it looked really good from the bottom, and that's the detergent down here. And that's a bathroom blunge. I'm not hoping that. <laughs> How come? This is just trash. Trash? Yeah, that's trash. It was the heaviest one, and I thought this one might maybe has potential. So. We're gonna load it. I mean, not load it, but look at it. Wanna look at this? Okay. Oh, and more mail. Junk. Okay. Junk. Yeah, it's all trash. Junk it's mail. It's all the mail. Do people really pay to just hold on to their trash papers? I mean, why am I asking? How many times have we bought in surgeons or are they paid? I mean, they don't they don't pay, so they... Um, oh, is that why they don't pay? I'm like, my goodness. They put in storage and have somebody else pay for it. Oh, here we go. Here's something of value. It's a brand new bullet. New in box with paperwork and everything. Woo -hoo, 40 bucks. All right, I'm in the money. Here's some more song books, but... Okay, I'm not I in mean, the money, but I'm trying to make some money. <laughs> this is the stuff that he wrote down. It's just strings and chords, but... I mean... We'll have we'll gun to play it. There no, you go. No, I mean, go. I don't think he's famous enough. Like, you know, you need to find Wham stuff. Trash. Yeah. Gotta clean the rest of that warehouse.
By the way, for everybody that says the videos are boring, it's a catch-22 for us. If it's boring like this and it's garbage, then you guys say it's boring. But if we show really good stuff, then you guys say it's fake, so can't really win. It's in there. It's sage, right? Isn't that what that is? Well, yeah, but I was just seeing like, there's so much weird stuff in there. It's just jibber jabber. An umbrella. Convenient. Video camera. Even though it's old as hell, that's like the best thing I've seen so far. Socks. Ooh, please tell me there's a gift card in there. It's like what a is porn this? CD in here. What is this? I'm afraid. I'm very afraid. If you're not sure, just leave it. Well, this came with. This might be worth some money. It's red panic ginseng extract. Is that what ginseng looks like? It doesn't matter. It's been storage for 200 years. Doggy tree. Yeah, but it might be worth more money. Oh, I got a watch in here in a Ziploc bag. All right, let's smell it. Oh my God, it looks like excrement or something. Do I smell it? Oh, you nasty. Smelling <laughs> dookie. Like an no, Elgin watch that's, that's supposed to be made to look like bling bling. <laughs> made to bling. You're funny. Like this soda. actually might be worth some money. Ginseng okay. can be really expensive, but like, what are you gonna do with that? You mean, I don't think that's what it is. It is too. <laughs> I smelled it very carefully. Did you lick it? No. <laughs> All right, this is more garbage. I'm not gonna mess with it. And here's royal jelly. That's yeah. trash, baby. Come on. Oh, well, here's another umbrella. Are you sure this didn't come out of San Francisco? This is like the third umbrella. Why does this but It doesn't even rain in Southern California. Oh, here's sunglasses. Are they expensive? Are they designer? Can I wear them? <laughs> well, i tell you what. If you move that, I'll let you touch the next box. Oh, okay. Why? Is there jewelry or Tools. something exciting? Like, what are we talking about here? Oh, boy. No, I was talking about the next box in here. And what does Renee say about the rule about duct tape? Do you guys remember the rule? The rule is usually when you see duct tape, it's not a good sign. We've never had luck with anything that was wrapped in duct tape. Okay. Obviously, Renee doesn't know what he's talking about because he bought this crap. <sighs> well, just so you guys know, if you see a unit, don't buy it if it has duct tape. The likelihood of it having good stuff goes down. Because we've never found anything good in duct tape. Do you store anything with duct tape? Mm -mm. What is that? I don't know. It's all like... I'm like afraid. It all seems squeaked out, doesn't it? Um, yeah. Like the oh, maybe it's a cologne. Or a Christmas ball. No, because there's some weight to it. A heavy Christmas ball. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's plastic. I think it's, no, I think it's bath crystals. Yeah, but it's plastic. Why does it need to be Green tea plastic? and ginger. Body exfoliator. So that's probably what this is. So we're not going to bother opening that. And you know, I'm not going to lie. This is my personal opinion, but this all looks very druggy. Yeah, I know. That's why I keep on being afraid to put my hands Yeah, in. you should be careful. Just the way this, this is not like a... What's that? I don't know. Looks uh, like tums. Yeah. I don't know. Dion. Is it dried? I don't like. Just don't touch it. I mean, why would you put your hand on that? I don't know. Because curious minds want to know. More thong books. <laughs> hey, trash it over there. I don't know. I'm desperate to find some money in here. We're only down like 41.50. You shouldn't be positive. <laughs> Positive. I'm trying to find some money, man. Last time we did a video like this on Facebook, Renee's attitude stinks. I'm like, oh, I'm so happy, guys. Way to go. It's okay. At the end of this video, you're getting a participation award anyways. Okay. Well, I was going to let mommy open this, but she messed up. We're in the money. 35 cents. Look at this. What is it? Oh, pro oh, that's what I get for goofing around. Oh, but it's sport. Hmm. 
but it's all tweaked out, unfortunately. Uh, you know, when people get upset, but that... Oh, hey, this is good. <laughs> I'll take this if you don't want it. <laughs> there goes your profit. She swooped it in her pocket. Here, we, we can sell this bag. We got a charger. I always need those. Okay, so see hey, what it takes this? to get $4,100 worth of treasure. We're not even close. <laughs> well, yeah, and hey, keep this box. This broader box is kind of cool. Sometimes people buy those on the internet. Maybe we can recover like $8. Hey, okay. and $0.35. Cents. Don't forget the $0.35. Cents, Cufflinks. Man. See, it's ginseng. Damn marks, I can't read it. Okay, empty this box and keep the brother. Put all your chains in the brother. is really expensive, you guys. Okay, empty this box and keep the brother. Okay. Cooler. Still a makeup box. Oh. That's a makeup box? The voice, I want you. Oh, maybe that's, that's for voice. some money. So, oh, the voice, the television show? Yeah, so that's a promotional thing from the voice. Oh, there you go. Brand new. Yeah, it's brand new. Okay. Okay. 30 bucks. The voice still plays today. I think it might be worth it. I mean, it's just a promo box to give you, probably. Still, how many people have that? Well, I know Renee does. <laughs> That's a good brand, guys. The Art of Shaving. You find stuff from there. Yes, St. Laurent or something like that. East St. Laurent. I mean, all these boxes are like, they just, they, the way they're packed is just tweaked. Ooh, this I see is... profit. We got some tape. Here's mm. another Carbon Luna Ross Rosa. You kept that one product box, right? Yeah, I okay. put it over there. Keep those, like, see, people sometimes buy those for decent money, actually. But again, like, that is tweaked. Yeah, because every bottle's empty. It's just like total tweak of shit. Oh, I found a nickel. Uh-oh. Okay, we're at 40 cents. Here we go. To represent how much money we have, we have demonstrations. <laughs> this is a $10, or 10 cents. Uh, excuse me while we cut to the commercial to teach people how to count cents. <laughs> Oh, we teach Diana. You know what's so funny about this locker? It makes no sense. <laughs> You're the best. All right, isn't she a funny little thing? Oh, look, we found more money. See, that makes a lot of sense. Yeah, a play on words. Okay, so now we've got a dollar fifty. How are you feeling about this guy? That's freaking great. Shoe care kid. On a scale of one to ten, how can you rate this locker? Trash. It's trash. That's two nightstands. Let's see what's in the nightstands later. Here, you're throwing away product. You can sell these things for a dollar each. Yeah, I don't really care. <laughs> <laughs> well, I always need Here's a detective pistol. Oh my god. What we always needed. Why it's in bubble wrap to protect it, I don't know. Just in case nobody gets shot. Yeah, well, Damn, so that's how much money they make. Here's a sewing kit. Oh, what? 1855 in royalty checks for one year. He oh. made 840 bucks from Faith, 189 from One More Try. Then he played with Seal, that made him 28 cents and 11 cents. And then he got Wham, 317, 221, 628. Freedom got him only $6.28. Wham, I'm your man, got him 100 bucks. And Wake Me Up Before You Go Go. Oh, I thought it was Go Girl. Maybe it's, it's the name is Go Go, but maybe it's Go Go. Wait, he makes all that in a year? That's for the online access agreement. I don't know. For just a year? Eighteen hundred. That's nothing. That's nothing. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, and but that's for residual income. Isn't that what we're all looking for? That means getting money for getting nothing. Not you if it. Residual not if it's only eighteen hundred dollars. Hey, I'll take the free money any day from past work. For a year, though. Yeah. But he gets it every year. Oh, this is, oh, here we go. 
Yeah, it's worth like ten bucks. It's a Sheraton hotel thing. Yeah, oh, wait, so but it's, it's a got cross. In it. Yeah, it's a cross collectible, right? It's a decanter and it's Sheraton hotels. And like, how old is this? So, tell us if you think this is worth money. And this is pretty cool. Look, it shows other Sheratons. They don't have to tell me. I can tell you, it's worth like ten bucks. <laughs> I mean, I'm not going to keep the sack after paperwork. I don't think nobody cares. Zach Efron? After. Oh. What are you doing with that? It's oh, the decanter. Okay. It's my little money pile. Mm. Why is it so small? <laughs> Any good music? Mm. Oh, we actually found some cologne that has something. See, it's not good. Mm. Family brownie, the reason why. This oh, is I have trash. that one. I've seen that one. It doesn't smell good. <sighs> it just That's smells like. I don't have that one, but I've seen that one. I bought that one. You know, I could have spent the last two days cleaning this warehouse and we would have more room back here and be more productive. That's dirty Kleenex and you just touched that. I don't know. Well, I was don't care. to see what was Ooh, What's good. this? This that's is something. The, um, for guitars. Let me see. Oh. See? Um, good thing I was called? digging through dirty Super stuff. Super snark. Broken in the back. Aw, oh, man, really? Um, here, Casey, let me, um, there's gonna be a lot of cutting in this video. Here, I'm gonna tilt this. Why don't you pull out the box? Okay. Got one. Got two. Ah! Got three. You know, this one's storage unit sucks when you're halfway through and you're like, I don't feel like going through anymore. There's a whole bunch of CDs. And a spoon. And another one of those guitars. No, I threw that one in there. Leave it in there. Oh, okay. Are you filming me stuck in the box? You should make that as like, a thumbnail. So I'm all busy. Yeah, there's another one. Awkward, but all the trolls keep on putting in it that you need an OnlyFans. <laughs> After this unit, guys, OnlyFans forward slash C bargain artist. There you go. Oh my goodness. Uh, that that was an adventure. Garbage. Okay. This is oh, that's some jewelry boxes. Uh uh. I bet there's nothing. This is like so tweaked out. I know. I'm like, is that that crack pipe? No, it's not. Uh, I don't know. Uh, oh was there God. something in here? What's in here? Is there anything? <laughs> I'm just afraid. I'm like, I'm waiting for something really scary to come out of one of these. Things. I think that was pretty scary already. There's a wallet. Let's see. Money? Money? $4,100. I'm looking for $4,100. Can we hit once, twice, three times? Anything? Let's just see if the credit card's still charged. Jeffrey Estes. Yeah, but we know. Oh, you know yeah, what? I'm just joking. So I see the picture on him here now. Mm -hmm. So Jeffrey Astos, her. That was his real name, Dion Estes, but his real name was Jeffrey Estes. Oh, he's got such a smile. Aww, we had to spend $4,100 to find this out. I think Google just told you that. <laughs> I'm sorry, we're not trying to be disrespectful. Sorry. You know, it's just like we ate big doo doo. $4,100 is a. Uh, Maybe crappy car. It's okay. That's we'll break even because everybody's going to be like, you know what? I like these guys and I feel bad for them. I'm going to share it. I'm going to put these aside because these are celebrity credit cards, technically. Oh. Oh, another decanter. Oh, this one's cool. It's sherry. I've never seen one with sherry. And this is what it says in the back. Okay, so there's a little money. No, that's not really any money, baby. Okay, Just well, ten dollars, ten dollars, ten dollars. Trash. Trust me, the pile of making money is one tenth of. Mommy's very positive. What can I say? Oh my god, guys! Oh my! Oh my. <laughs> we did it! <laughs> there you go for your collection. Oh, it's Pearl Harbor. 
Survivors Association. Oh, so this is probably a cross collectible too. Might fetch a little bit more of a pretty penny. probably a cross collectible oh, wow. too. <laughs> Guys, I think we got more than a quarter on this one. There's so much garbage here. I don't know if we can fill up all the trash cans. I know, right? I'm like, oh no. There you go. <sighs> I, I like the way Tatiana thinks. Okay, let's look at these nightstands. They all seal up. You want to come over here? Well, they definitely sound empty from my ears being good. <laughs> Thank God you have bad hearing. Uh, actually, if you do pull anything out, it's probably going to be bigger. No, it sounded empty. It's not empty. It's not? I lifted it. No, I guess it's definitely a fact. <laughs> All right. Aww. Let's eat it. It actually looks fresh, so. <laughs> Where's Dustin when you need him? We could get him to eat the candy. He would. What's amazing? It, oh, it has money. Here you go. A diamond. Oh. That's like at least $2 in there. You want to put that aside? Yeah. Almost enough to buy a cup of coffee. <laughs> and almost from the distance, it looks like there's going to be something in here. But then as you pull it out, it's just all empty boxes. Just jibber jabber. It's not even jibber jabber. It's like totally tweaked. I mean, I hate using that word, but I mean, that's what it is. Hotel stories. I mean, what is this crap? A Blu-ray, The Dark Knight Rises. That might be the most valuable thing we actually find. <laughs> but I don't think so. I mean, it's literally all garbage. It's okay. I know homeless people that have nicer stuff. <laughs> oh no! Oh, these aren't even American money. They're pesos, but from what country? I don't know. That's terrible. That's amazing. Oh, you know what? I think we own time on a cable, one of our remote boxes. Yeah, but do you really even want one of those ones? So I don't have to give them? Time on a cable is probably gonna charge me $464 for a remote. Oh, see, we're saving money. I like the way you think which was great. It's like the best thing. Cool. Uh, why don't you look what's in that white drawer with Tatiana while I clean up here a little bit. Okay. And then... Oh no, we lost our box cutter. How do we do this every time? Here we go. Where'd the scissors go? Actually, those scarves is the best thing we find. We find a hundred bucks worth of scarves. Don't forget the decanters. Kind of garbage. Fine. It's like the best packaging for junk. There we go. Wee -hee, finally. Okay, here we go. Box one. More just trash. Don't make too much mess because we have to clean okay, it up. Okay, here's the camera. Oh, here's some sterling silver. Is it sterling? Is it silver? It looks like it. Does it say that? Can you read it? I see a stamp. Oh, here's the Seiko 9 -5 watch. 925 Italy, it says. 925 Italy, that's good. Seiko's a good brand. Well, we have to box there because I have the same cufflinks. Here's a nice pen. Whoa. Here's one cufflink. See, same length right here. Okay, unfortunately, that's probably maybe a hundred bucks. But you know what? I'll take it. I'm a little scared because I tend to call myself the zippy queen and everything's in Ziploc bags. I told you, you're a hoarder. You just don't know it. Oh, thanks a lot. I just like to keep everything. Eyes right back here. Clean. What? That's business inventory. That's how you go to private school, little kid. Thank you. 
What are these things? Are these lighters or? Nine to five, so that's silver. Yeah. Half an ounce, nine dollars. Here, I'm afraid to put my hand in here. Because it's a chain, nice. Oh no, that's junk. But what about this? What's that? Isn't that a torch? Yeah. Oh, here's a cigar. Crystal or something. Junk. This is junk. Like you're going through junk. I'm just desperate. To oh, here's a horseshoe casino money club. Ah, oh, it's gonna get quite not junk. Here's a nice zippo. Here's all kinds of contacts. Let's see if I can uh, make any good contacts in one of the, see if George Michael's has a card in here. I know, right? But he passed away as well, honey. Huh? George Michael's passed away as well. <laughs> that would be an awkward phone call. There's some like weird tubings. Oh, it's cologne. Just quick look. Let's just okay, get out of here. I'm sorry. Because this is getting depressing. I'm over it already. Alien Quadrilogy, Twilight, a speaker. That's so funny, he had Twilight. It's George Michaels, right there. UE Mega Box. Oh, it's a George Michaels figurine. Mm. That looks hand painted. Oh. What's this, something green? Funky, that's mm. what it's called. Hey, this box is trash. And I th there's some other figurine. There's some cool Oh, it's him. There. Oh, look at That's great. It's him and George Michaels. That's cool. Look, you've got like a little. Yeah, that's just trash, honey. Oh, who's this from? Oh, hi, hi Dion. Dion. Thank you for your music and friendship. Happy New Year's. Love, Funky. Oh, so Funky actually might be somebody. So we'll put this aside and we'll do further research. Okay, what else? Just quick check it. I know, I'm like... I mean, if we still had our store, there's a little bit more you could recover. But not really. But not really in this stage. It's not what we're into. What about an iPhone 5? Are people collecting that? No. Only if the new boxes. Blackberries. You know, everything has like, it looks like smoking stuff in it. Sticky. There's a brand new jo Joseph About Wallet. Brand new box. Okay, I'm trying to go fast. It's just that it's hard because it's all jibber jabber. I know, you're right. I'm like politely close. We should have bought the Beverly Hills units. I know, we had better chance there. Here's more blow torches. Howard Light by Honeywell. I think he's a shooting. You're scared. Your hair catches on fire. New hairdo? Lighters. I don't know, cables. Yeah. Why are you looking inside there? There's batteries on the inside. See what I'm saying? That's why it's like tweaked out. Like, no offense. Well, that's why I was confused when you was opening up the cough drops. Huh? I was confused by you opening up the cough drops. It felt like something heavy was in there. I don't know. Fun fact on storage was when a lot to say it's tweaky. Gonna have to say it's packing challenged. Packing challenged. <laughs> nice suitcase though. Ciao. Oh, that's a really nice suitcase. Okay. Uh, 40 bucks. Here's a flashlight. You need a flashlight? You know, who needs a flashlight when you light up my world? Ah. All right. See, normally I would say, oh, these boxes look great, but because it's tweaky. Oh, you know how Renee says pride of ownership and you should always look at the boxes? This is the exception to the rule because the boxes do look pretty good. No, I'm saying about this stuff. Now, these didn't have, as soon as I loaded them, I knew. It's just the ones they had up front were those nice, clean ones. What about this? Is this worth anything? It's brand new sealed, $34.99. Bold. 
No, that's like the... I call you from a different number. What's with all these glasses? Is that worth money, by the way? That looks like 80s. Yeah. Let's I keep on finding weird glasses. I'm gonna stab you in the face with my knife. That's like the number one comment on our YouTube channel. <gasps> oh. Right, I'm always dodging stuff. Uh, I was hoping that these were like some kind of vintage, but these are like. Can I try them on? You really want to? So everything's nasty. Not nasty. It's like it's super cute. filthy on the inside. That's some sort of 3D glasses. Dulce Cabana. Yes. Hey, that's actually something in here you want to duck? Daddy says Mercedes. Yeah, I'll let you have the fun. Oh, yeah. You know we have to pick all that up. I know, I'll it, do it. You try to get 76 cents. Hey, man. <laughs> Don't be drunk. Ooh, there's, oh, there's that. Ooh. That's a good Mark Jacob. Huh? I thought it was all brand new stuff. It's not. Hey, check this bag, it's full of stuff. Ooh, piece of jewelry. I like it. Okay. <gasps> Ooh. Yeah, I like I opened it. Mark Jacobs. Here, I never got you Mark Jacobs. Here's a box. Thanks. Oh, this one's pretty. It's just costume I don't think jewelry. It's real, no, it's not. And this is a picture of somebody completely different. That's definitely not the guy. <laughs> I mean, I almost wonder if this is a real unit, to be honest. I, I know, I feel like this is a setup unit. I told you. It's so weird how inconsistent it is. I mean, there's some of his stuff in here, but there's like other crap in here too. It's kind of weird. Starbucks prices went up. No, I'm just trying to collect my, my money back. <laughs> right? How many, vi how many minutes do we got on this video? Uh, we're at 10 minutes. So we've done 30 minutes of nothing but unsuccess. I think we've done 30 minutes of fun frustration. Oh, you guys get to have fun and we get to have the frustration. You get to laugh at us. Anybody that leaves a comment that I need to be more positive, I'm going to be upset, okay guys? <laughs> I might block you. <laughs> We're going to send a bag of all this stuff to your house. Yeah, oh, here's something cool. pick a bag. We'll, pick, we'll send it to you. Here we go, retirement. Where? Oh, I have a cuff link if you're missing one. No. But these are stamped silver, so these are silver and turquoise. Oh, that's nice. See, that's why I don't rush us. This stamped silver too, that's the same one. What was I gonna get? Oh, if I have to look that hard for the profit, it's not really worth it. All right, so that's 50 bucks here. What's inside here? Oh, it is the TV. That's the old TV. Okay. So. Here's a juicer, maybe. Okay. So here's a juicer. Five bucks. Oh, we didn't even open all this side. Oh, goody. Oh, yay. Okay, here we go, guys. And don't lose my phone. <laughs> it's the one thing of value around here. Spices and food. Yummy. Oh my gosh, it's LED lights. Luxury homes in Houston. Some 
curtains. Glasses. That's a microwave in here, I can feel it already. Mm -hmm. Fabrics. Why don't you just open up the box? Oh, hey, stop it. throwing everything. You have to pick it up. Clothes in here. Guys, that's it for the video. This unit is complete garbage. I think this is a setup unit. Can uh, we say that on camera? I mean, okay, you guys, this is why I think it's a setup unit. Because nobody puts a box that's empty inside another box. That like, yeah, and like, look at that. So, yeah, this seems like. I don't know if it was a setup unit, whatever. This feels like a hoax. This feels like okay. Oh. Um, Crack pipe. That's yeah. okay. You can show it. It's YouTube. Okay, so kids, let me tell you about your drugs. This is why. Okay. Crack pipe. I mean, that's what the unit looks like. So, it's not a setup unit. It's just. Most likely they got evicted wherever this place was at. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. I'm like, is this an eviction? Okay, this is why your parents tell you at home, don't do drugs, okay? Because then you get scramble-minded and you lose all your little precious junk and it's all junk to begin with. You know what? If this video depressed you, just like it depressed me, go back to our old videos and watch some of the Disney pin videos. We just oh, posted them about a week yeah, ago. Oh, yeah, that's super fun. I had fun filming it and watching them, and I watched it after we did it, and it made me smile all over again. Yeah, me too. Let's clean up this crack, because this is just a cracker unit. So, <laughs> it's, we're done.